and the fact that the picture the picture is of the modern elderly Gustav, not the young virile virile Gustav. Not really much else to that one, people. But here we go. All right, so we've went from dead void to auditive algebra. We doink. Hmm. Okay, well I know what that is. That's a six point one surround sound system. Also, that guy doesn't know how to spell rec. Uh, he knows how to spell rec, but he's referring to recreation, <laughs> not a traffic accident. <laughs> For the record, rec, recreation is just R-E-C. Hmm. Alright, let's see. 4 to the omega power, second decibel. Alpha note Upsilon the second power. Hmm. Do 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 do. Uh, hmm. This is uh, a harmonics field. It's the basic idea behind a surround sound system is by combining the things into a specific form you create a harmonics field. It's capable of bouncing sound waves off of each other. Hmm. This is... This seems like a 6.1. And surround sound. Yeah. Surround sound system. Though there is no subwoofer. Not woofer, woofer. <laughs> this is what I refer to as a harmonics field. Field generation system. Generator. The placement. Placement allows for sound waves to be bounced off each other in a way that can create, create some severe psycho, psycho effects on people. Based upon the equations, equations I am start starting to suspect that the signal may actually be, be man-made. I'm actually incredibly good with algebra, I'm just horrible at geometry and trigonometry. Hmm. Especially in considering, considering they are using symbols. Symbols that only occur occur in very high order math. Hmm. Okay. Ah, sorry about that, people. <laughs> I belong to the Association of Gamers. <laughs> As you all just learned. <coughs> hmm. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Makes a good point. <sighs> he makes a good point, despite the disagreement to him. Alright, if I was going to say, oh great, there's a troll in the game. But that would deserve some downvote. That one doesn't deserve a downvote. I think whoever downvoted that is a douchebag. I don't care if you see this video. If you're the guy who downvoted that logical idea, you're a douchebag.
Right, let's see. After the Big Bang, the universe right. expanded greatly, and the gravity of all the materials slowed down the expansion of the universe. But then, five billion years ago, very suddenly, mm -hmm. the universe started accelerating again its expansion. And we think that this is caused by this dark energy field. But if these phenomena can't be seen, how can they be detected? This huge hall in the Max Planck Institute in Germany is at the heart of the Virgo project, an ambitious international scheme. It aims to simulate the formation of the structure in our universe in images using powerful computers. Feeding these computers is information collected from astronomical satellites and telescopes, both in space and here on Earth. While the dark side isn't directly visible, astronomers can map its position and effect by measuring its impact on the gravitational force of its surroundings. One of the ways this is being done is by using a very large telescope on the other side of the world in the Atacama Desert in Chile. What we set out to do is to take the nearest uh, object where we suspected a black hole might reside, and that's the center of our Milky Way, and make measurements there with ever better technology, bigger telescopes, new techniques, new detectors, uh, over those 20 years where we were then able to measure the motions of material stars uh, around where we suspected there might be a black hole. The European Space Agency is also investigating black holes using its own X-ray telescope, XMM-Newton, as well as the Hubble telescope in cooperation with NASA. Also, with missions such as Planck that study the residue left over by the Big Bang, scientists hope to further their understanding of the evolution of the universe. It's difficult to imagine something you can't see or an energy you can't feel. However, astronomers believe these abstract concepts are the glue that binds our universe together in an invisible dance between the seen and the unseen. Big Bang, the universe expands. But now I just got a theory that just completely, completely threw me off. Uh, signal is some type of detection detection effect to quantify and prove dark energy, dark energy existence, existence, this dark matter, dark matter has been proven, proven to exist, though dark energy is still up in debate. Perhaps the signal signal is the result of an attempt attempt to detect it detect it or perhaps it is emitted from dark energy I don't really have much else I'm helping people sorry damn it I didn't get enough votes to unlock their fucking doubts Hmm, why hide it? Wee Wee Hmm Future power. God, is she trying to harvest dark energy? Hidden words. Obscured words. Hidden in power. No, wait, wait, ah! Future and power. <sighs> I'm continuing to piece together my mother's life. My father dops bits of information about her research and its impact on her as I pester him. But he won't allow me to see her work years and years of research because I'm not ready. <laughs> hmm. It's a power game for him, of course. A test to see. If I pass in some unknown way, it's beginning to infuriate me. It's the one thing to do when I was a little girl, a teenager. It's another now as a woman in the future head of the Institute. <coughs> I found some references to my mother's Sh Sheffield project. What an amazing scientist she must have been. Working in the dark with the crudest of technology and almost comical blank knowledge of the universe, space in the universe. 
She made particles and collision charts that are completely fascinating, like works of art. Either way ahead of her time as absolutely brilliant pieces of work, or the work of somebody close to insanity. It doesn't matter, as they allow me to see directly into her mind. But I don't understand them. I need to access all of her work. My father is being very protective and mysterious about it, even saying that not all of it exists anymore. That a chunk of it was destroyed accidentally by an employee when it was filed to microfish. Microfish. Not microfish, microfish. Don't get why they just can't say. Well, actually, that is the correct word. Mm hmm. What is he hiding from me? Why is he hiding it? Max is encouraging me to push him to stand up for myself and for my mother. He knows it's important and vital to our experiment. And a way to know and understand my mother. I have to be, I have to care for... Uh. Okay, they left out a word there. I'm gonna add it in. I have to be careful with my father on this. It's a bit dangerous. But I'm thinking about ways to do it. There is one thing my father has taught me. How to play power games correctly and efficiently when trying to get what one desires against another's will. Ha! <laughs> that is a great point, man. Good point. And I have stated, stated a few times. Hell, I was close. S several times. I, I suspect Kathleen is a nonviolent sociopath. Sociopath. The perfect thing. Think for a supervillain. In the modern age. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm going to repeat what Marcus basically said. Uh, Alright. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what the? <sighs> Based upon this, this email, this entry, I suspect that they they stole the information from Gustav after he beat around the, around the bush too many times and giving it to them. Hmm. It also seems that Kathleen has picked up the traits of both her mother and father, creating a highly highly intelligent and manipulative individual that appears to be willing to do just about anything. Anything to get what they want. I suspect the entire entire reason reason Gustav hides the information from Kathleen and refuses it due to her not being ready. <laughs> is due to her. Due to what happened to Ingrid. Ingrid and out of fear that Kathleen will suffer a similar Hmm. Previous note. In a previous node. Hmm. Node. Dreams. Gustav seems exceptionally worried. Worried about Kathleen's mental state and if she's experiencing specific dreams. Perhaps those dreams are the same Ingrid had. 
right before she lost